What's up guys, it's Kude here, back with another video about the Crypt season. I've been getting a ton of comments, please review this most recent season. And you know what, there's something about this season that rubs me the wrong way, because it's starting to confirm something that um, I was suspecting. Alright, so we got the Crypt here, have a look at the characters, we'll, we'll get to them later, because to be honest, whew, characters are not looking very good guys, not looking very good. But if you go to the equipment, something rubs me the wrong way here. Go to Famous Dashing Smile and read this right here. 20% chance to apply Inker Ability debuff to the whole opponent uh, team. Another Inker Ability gear! Guys, how many Inker Ability gears are they going to drop in the crypt? It's almost like they planned this tower to be this difficult. Like, just unbelievably difficult and they just keep throwing anchor ability uh, debuff gears at us next season next season next season <laughs> we have to eat it up we legit have to eat it up at the end of the day we have to take what we can to survive in this game so pick up a copy of famous dashing smile although it's not making me smile that's for sure is this gear good overall besides the anchor ability well um if you're using johnny cage I would say it's pretty solid because you could use like Strive Force Johnny Cage and then put this gear on him and put Inker ability on the, on the entire team. As long as you get it closer to max fusion, that's a that's going to be a higher chance, but 20% is quite low. It's quite low. It's better than a combo under though because they can always just block a combo under or just not take your block breaking. Uh, they can just start blocking anyways. Yeah, no. So don't, don't worry about that. Gain 30% more power from hitting an opponent. Okay, yeah, no, that, that's pretty good with Johnny Cage, but that's at Max Fusion, so obviously you're probably not going to get that, especially if it's your first copy. Uh, is the glitch where you can purchase two gears still going on? I don't think so. I have heard zero people talk about that glitch anymore, so it does appear to be fully patched. I did get to talking about it the day after it got patched, which is quite unfortunate, but it is what it is. Stunt Buddies, is this gear good? At the end of the day, purchase both of these, but for any block breaker attack, the user has a 50% chance to apply a debuff to the opponents for 10 seconds. There could only be one debuff at a time. Hmm. While you have the debuffs going on, you gain vampire, which if you don't know what that is, uh, you'll get health back. So you'll be attacking the opponent using special attacks and you'll get health back, which is kind of nice. This gear isn't magnif magnificent. I mean, I highly recommend you go for both of these gears because they're Johnny Cage related. Both of them, uh, you know, decent in their own right. And the main reason to go for gears this season, the biggest reason, is because characters are just not it, Chief. There's only one character in this season, or maybe even two, that I would recommend you purchase. Starting out, we're gonna, uh, Scorch Brock, uh, no, <laughs> no. This is the Baraka you don't really want. I've seen some people defend this Baraka on their life. They're like, look at him, look at him. He looks so cute. No, he does not. What's wrong with you? You're sick, you're twisted. With that out of the way, Warlock Quan Chi. Now, I did a video with his ascension and it was, it was quite bad. It was quite bad. We're just gonna have to put X on Quan Chi, like, no, no way in hell you're gonna get a copy of him. No, do not spend 5,000 arts on him. Next up, Copper Cup Johnny Cage is an absolute yes. If you have extra hearts lying around, go for him. You don't necessarily need to go for him if you don't have any more hearts left over after buying both gears. Also, yeah, do pick up a copy of this, by the way. Forgot to mention, just because smoke can resist debuffs with this, and if you use a classic smoke team, this is extremely useful to have on. There's also a damage bonus against enemies who are blinded. Not as useful because you're not using classic smoke the whole game on your team, but still, definitely pick up a copy of this. That's gonna be easy though, it's 600 hearts. It's, it should be a no-brainer that you should purchase those. Johnny Cage is a character that has stood the test of time. He's always going to be good. So I'm never gonna fault you if you purchase a copy of him. And in this Crypt season, he might be one of the only characters you should purchase. Moving on to Jade. It's too luck based, but one thing that is lucky is her design. Ooh la la. We don't get characters like this anymore. I swear, we don't. And we should. Look at her face. It looks 
It looks like a normal face. We, we miss characters like this that have normal looking faces because then we get characters like this. But you want to know why that is? Because this is an MK9 Jade and that's why her, her clothing is so skin tight. Warner Brothers just ain't like it anymore. Circle Shadow Sub-Zero, mm, it's debatable. This character can be really good on a Circle Shadow team and he is, in my opinion, maybe the second or first best Circle Shadow character, not including Nightwolf. We're talking about the old Circle Shadow characters before Nightwolf got introduced. Nightwolf is probably gonna be at the top of my list now, not gonna lie. Nightwolf is really freaking strong. Uh, but Circle Shadow Sub-Zero used to be the OG best team member alongside Kung Lao. They were kind of on even footing. They just have different purposes. Kung Lao is more of a shield-based character, doesn't do as much lethal damage. This guy is all lethal damage. So if you've used him, you know what I mean by that. I mean, he can just get some crazy amounts, but it's luck-based. You're not always gonna get that lethal chance, no matter how high you set it. So Circle Shadow Sub-Zero is debatable. If you have a lot of hearts left over, then sure. I guess go for a copy, especially if you're fusing them to like fusion level six or seven. For mid-range players out there who are purchasing a copy, yeah, six or seven, even close to 10, I would pick up a copy. But if you're starting out fusion level zero, I'd hold off, I would hold off. And lastly, MK11 Nightwolf. Hmm, this one's gonna have to be a no. The one problem with Circle Shadow Nightwolf, in my opinion, it doesn't have anything to do with his basic attacks or his special attacks. It's his passive. With Nightwolf, when you choose Eagle, Bear, or Wolf, you can't ever change it. You can't go back and update it. So for the entire game, you're stuck with that choice. These passives can be good. It's just for an entire game, it's not as um, helpful because you might want to change it throughout the game. And if you could change it, this character would get a major buff. And I hope in the future, at some point, they make it so you can change the passives uh, throughout the game. 15 second cooldown. That's all they need to have. With that being said, don't pick up a copy of MK11 Nightwolf. If you already have them close to max fusion, sure. All right, max him out. Because on the MK11 team, he'll be okay. I just think there are better MK11 characters to pick. Like, are you gonna choose a team with Nightwolf or are you gonna choose a team with MK11 Liu Kang and Sub-Zero or even like MK11 Jade or Noob Saibot? Are you gonna choose Nightwolf? Yeah, I don't think so. I think you're probably gonna choose Noob, Liu Kang or Sub-Zero or Jade. You're not gonna go for MK11 Nightwolf on your team. The one thing I can say about this Nightwolf is that his skin is magnificent. They literally made a one-to-one -one MK11 to MK Mobile which is really rare these days that they get the skin completely accurate and right. Honestly, it is incredibly good looking. Uh, that's my review of the Crypt season. I know you guys have been very curious to hear that. And, and Relic Hunt, I am gonna be giving a guide here soon on it. Uh, still working on it. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching. If you did enjoy, make sure to like and subscribe if you are new. And yeah, peace out.